Hi, Peter here from snowmobiledetailing.com and jetskidetailing.com. What we've got here is a custom fiberglass hood from Alpine Motorsports, and we're going to be installing this beautiful wrap here for Blaine's Precision Machining uh, right over top of it. I think the first thing we need to do is uh, get uh, things lined up. We want to get the graphics lined up from the tip of the hood here uh, up to this area here. We'll try to get, get everything lined up. You know what? Before I even start this, I can see that there's a bit of an edge on here from the gel coat, and this is going to need to be sanded down before we start. So I'm going to take a little time out here and take care of that. Hi, Peter here from SnowmobileDetailing.com and JetskiDetailing.com. What we have here is a fiberglass custom hood that's been made uh, special by the good people at Alpine Motorsports. And we're going to be putting this fantastic graphic on top. This is for Blaine's Precision Machining. And uh, first off, I'm checking the edge here and I can feel that there's a bit of an overlap that's sticking up from the uh, gel coat from inside the mold. So we'll put the graphics aside. We're going to take some sandpaper here. I'm using 220. And what I'll do is I'll just take uh, a bit of time. I'll pause the tape. But what I'm going to do is go along the edge. I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to go along the edge. And I'm just going to take down that sharp edge that was on there uh, to make it smooth. Otherwise, the graphics will probably just get torn up when we start trying to wrap around that edge. So let's pause for a minute and I'll be back. Okay, coming back now after the sanding, you can see that there's quite a bit of dust that is collected on the surface. So again, my preference uh, is to use the tumbler silicone wax and grease remover. And I'll apply that liberally onto a cloth here. Put the can aside. I'll jump right in and I'm going to get a fresh start on the surface. Once I get so far, I'll flip my cloth around and be sure that I'm wiping it a second time to get the dust off the surface because that would prevent uh, getting full adhesion um, with the graphics that are going to be installed here. So again, this is the second wipe. I've just turned the cloth over. Get right into those holes. Get a quick wipe on the back because there's some leftovers there as well from when I was sanding. And even possibly just a quick third wipe. Can't hurt. It's all good. Oh, there we go. Put that cloth aside. Let that evaporate. So again, we're going to first line up our graphics. I'll be lining up. I've left a little bit of white on the edge here. If you decide, you can trim that right off so it's easier to line up to your edge here. However, I'm going to be working with that and I'll just pull from the white edge until I see that I'm lining up on the, uh, the sharp edge here. I can see through the graphic. Some tape. I'm going to find the center up here if possible. And I know that comes back like that. And what I am hoping for here is when I get my start is that everything lines up properly in relation to where these openings are. So I've got to plan this out quite well before I start applying. And I'm just getting a feel right now where it's all going to be. <coughs> I'm going to lose a little bit there. Inevitably, a bit. the eyes will lose up a little bit where these cutouts are just to try to get it down flat. I 
I'm using my lighting here in the room and I'm taking on a different perspective from time to time so that I can see if there's an air bubble trap and I can see from the shadow based on my lighting where they appear. That gives me a chance now before I get too far into it to come back and make the correction and to work those out. Again, nothing difficult about doing this job. It's just being patient and taking your time. And I'm going to find my edge here. My edge is way over. So, more on the pin here. That's on the edge. So I can see that I'm going to have to start pulling the graphics this way slightly. And I can do that right here. And now, Oops, sorry. 